demonstrate how to set up and run the data store emulator. So uh, we're going to start off, we're going to go into the uh, Google App Engine web dev folder that we created as a, or for our GitHub. And uh, from there, we're going to go into step nine. And in step nine, you'll see we have a few files. We're going to take a look at that readme file. And uh, we should say, well, it's not the most descriptive readme file. It kind of says exactly what this is. We're going to illustrate the use of cloud data store. Uh, but we also have this teach me file, this markdown file that we can use. And that's going to uh, allow us to set this up. And it is a little tricky. So we're going we're gonna to run this here. So let's go ahead and hit start and first thing we need to do is see if we have a Java version so we're gonna hit uh, we're gonna send that to the command here and you can see this is open JDK JDK but it's a recent version so we should be okay here so uh, even though this isn't the, uh, the the official Java development kit this one should be this should work so now we're going to install the cloud data store emulator so we can use that using uh, G cloud we're gonna try that but Sometimes this won't work, you know, for, for certain configurations. So that's okay. We're going to actually just use the sudo apt-get method here. Uh, and if I hit that uh, command, we're going to install that. And it's going to give me a warning, say, hey, you know, this is, a, this is not necessarily going to be an instance from time to time. So uh, you may not get the exact same instance. But that's okay. We can always install this again if we need it. And you can see here, I've already got it installed. But you should see a little bit more information here saying that, you know, you've actually installed it. Uh, now um, we want to set our project. So I, I already have a project ID set, but if you don't have one set, you want to use this command, gcloud config set project. Uh, and once we have that, we can actually start the emulator in the background. So we'll go ahead and uh, run that. And here we go. It should be running. And, you know, the way we run this in the background is you can see uh, this ampersand. Any command that we execute is going to start or with an ampersand is going to start in the background. So now that's running. And, you know, this is good. This should be available. And, uh, you know, you can see a little bit of information here. Uh, we have an API endpoint there so we can actually see how this is going to run. Um, and, you know, there are some pr there are some different things we want to do to actually set this so that our application or some variables that we want to set to make sure that the uh, our application connect can connect to it. We'll, uh, we'll we'll look at that in just a moment. But, you know, since this is running in the background, you're going to want to be able to shut it down. And, you know, this is a, a good little uh, command to know. So if you use PS, uh, it will show you all of your commands running. You can use PS-AL if you want to see some more information. Uh, including, you know, user ID and process ID and, you know, other things that you can see here. Um, so the cloud, the PID, the process ID for uh, cloud data store in Java, we want to take a look at those and you can see we're going to need to kill this. We don't have a sort of a, an, a more elegant way to, to shut this server down. So we're going to use kill dash uh, nine and then we, go, we will use the Java process ID here, one, six, nine, one, and that will shut down our cloud data store. So now when we use PS dash AL, we won't see that anymore. Uh, so Let's uh, let's go ahead and start this back up. So we'll use uh, G Cloud Beta Emulators Data Store Start, and here we go. That's now running, and everything should be good. We we should be all right here. Uh, and from there, we can now initialize our, our environment. So we're going to use G Cloud Beta Emulators Data Store Environment Init, and that's going to get all of those uh, all those variables there for us. So this is going to output some commands that we can use to to configure this, but. We also, we don't have to necessarily, um, you know, we don't have to copy all these down. We can actually just com execute this one command. Um, basically, this will turn the output of this command into a script that executes automatically. And if we run that, then there we go. Everything is now set up. So we have set the data store uh, data set. We have set the data store emulator host. All these variables that we need to set so that we can actually connect to this are, are now set up. So from here, uh, the last thing that we'll need to do is when we run our dev app server, we're going to set the uh, environment or we're going to set the environment variable here. So let's go ahead over to uh, our, our uh, project and we'll have our, our files here and we can just execute this command now. So here we go. We'll go ahead and authorize this. And now we should have a running uh, a running data store emulator as well as a running dev server. And uh, just to make sure that that's up and running, we can uh, go ahead and preview. Uh, let's go ahead and it's still running. Sorry, it's still starting up here. So let's refresh this. See, there we go. So we have a we have a, a new uh, our our page. It seems to be working. So. Uh, 
this will get you started with the data store emulator. Um, if you follow these steps, you should be able to run it without a problem. You know, eventually it'll get to the point where you can just sort of, you can enter the commands and, uh, you know, one by one, you won't have to go through the tutorial, but this will get you started with the data store emulator. In our next video, we will get into exploring this application and some of the things that we're going to do with the data store code. Uh, thanks for watching this one. Hopefully you'll be able to, uh, to move forward now.